and welcome back to another episode of the epic sailing drama that is Sailing Emblem. <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Sailing Emblem right here in an undisclosed location due to national security issues. <gasps> no, I have no idea what that should be. Now, on this episode, we are gonna make a little jump from our dungy fjord all the way up to Sogne Fjord. Now I know that the two fjords really doesn't lie side by side, so there were a far bit of sailing in between them. Now these pictures and many more are already posted on Instagram and or Facebook, so if you want to have a more day to day so to speak update of the situation here on board Embla or where I am at the actual moment, you can just follow me there on Instagram and or Facebook or both. I will leave a link in the description underneath the video. Now if you want to help support the channel further, please head over to patreon.com and you can just uh, follow and uh, support me there. Now let's get back to the video, aren't we Shabby? Yeah, Shabby Dog! And now we are officially in Sognefjorden. Now we're just in the very inlet, but it's still called Sognefjorden. Beautiful day, still a little nippy in the air, but still the sun is out. And it's a beauty home! Oh yeah! It's a little hail that comes down on us. Just check out that green water. It's quite spectacular actually. I'm a little worried about the weather ahead there. I think it's just rain but we're already by being hit by hail so never know what's in there. Hopefully it's not strong winds. What do you say? Snow on the mountains. Yeah. Now, Sognefjorden is actually Norway's longest fjord and the second longest in the world. It's uh, 205 kilometers uh, long and uh, at some places it's uh, over 1300 meters deep. So I'm glad I have enough anchor chain with me. No. <laughs> and it's really not good weather here in Sognefjorden at the moment. I'm betting that uh, the views from that cruise ship ain't particularly good. And we are really hoping this ain't how it's, how it's gonna be this whole entire time we are in Sognefjorden. Because this kind of sucks. It's kind of cool. Welcome to beautiful Sognefjorden! <laughs> It's supposed to be beautiful anyway, and we get in here and it's like rain, fog, uh, hail, you know, everything. And it is cold ass. We are going just over there to her younger. And I'm hoping it's not too far away because this is kind of miserable. I've just been downstairs, downstairs, down below, I mean, <laughs> warming up and Marius uh, had to stay out during the burst of the rain. Uh, so now we have exchanged, so I am, I am on duty. But I got me some music over there. It's kind of nice. Hopefully it will improve tomorrow. And here we are at Hayanger finally. It took a while and the weather has certainly improved. It's not raining and it's not snowing or not hailing anymore. Then it's quite, well, I wouldn't say warm, but warmer, that's for sure. And Hayanger is just up ahead there, around the bend. This is of course Hayanger Fjord, I think it's called, which is just a by fjord out of uh, Sogne Fjord, which is here. And we are there. Uh, 
And then we were in here at Höjanger. It is quite breathtaking, but we are heading into town, which is over there. Now we haven't really located a bathroom, so I guess we just have to go into town to get that. Well, if you're going here to Höjanger, uh, this here is actually the guest harbor. It's a small, I think it's Höjanger uh, Båtförening, which is there. And this here is the guest harbor. One floating dock. But there are no electricity here on the dock, but I think we have located uh, an outtake for electricity just there. And there's water just behind the fence there. We really need to stock up on water now. Uh, the tanks are almost empty. I don't think I have that big, uh, big of a water tank. Tanks. I think it's maybe, maybe I have a couple of hundred liters or something. I don't know. And as you can see, it's, yeah, it is hailing. This is hail, as you can see here. Marius is there. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of hail. Can't even see the top of the mountain. So to sum it up, uh, the guest harbor is there. It's really easy to dock there. And uh, to get here, there are no rocks, no nothing in uh, in the fjord because it is, after all, a really deep fjord. So uh, you can't hit anything really. Just go. And, uh, but it's a little small, but I don't think actually small boats come here too often. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's so long to get here. And uh, most people actually think they use cars, don't they, Marius, to get here? They usually use cars or cruise ships. Yeah. Yeah. Most common is uh, by car, of course. Yeah. So no normal people. Ship, ships that go in here. Yeah. Goes down but the normal water. people would go here by car. Yeah. They won't go here by boats. Only stupid people. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid sailors. Or crazy sailors without a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a sea hippie. Oh yeah. I'm a badass sea hippie. How can you be a badass? Does that mean you have some viral disease in your behind? <laughs> now we are downtown Höjanger actually. It's uh, quite a cozy little town, I would say, with uh, lots of tall mountains surrounding everything. Now, here's a map for you guys. This here is, of course, Song Jordan, and we are here right now. So, we just bought some food at the store behind us there and we are heading down to the boat again now we wanted to drink a beer for uh, to to the dinner today but apparently here in norway and i know this of course i know this you can't buy beer after eight o'clock so of course you can buy a beer um at a bar or something but not at the store so uh, the lady in there just said to us that you can't have this <laughs> and that we should have seen the sign of the wall in there, but we didn't. Here we are at the fueling station in Höjanger. We have just resupplied with diesel and we are heading out of this amazing fjord. And today, whoa, look at that thing. We have sun. We have some clouds, but hopefully we have more of the sun out there. And um, uh, yeah, I would like to say that this is pretty nice. Pretty nice.
So today we are going into a place called Balestrand, which is further in the fjord. And it's still not the end of the fjord. But uh, I think Sognefjorden is actually showing off her best colors today. Just, it's not a ripple in the water. Not a ripple. Just check it out. And the water is green. And very clear. So we're gonna go into Ballestrand and uh, hopefully we will get a shower. Because I don't think we have been showering for some days. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm guessing that ain't a really big problem since it is just us two guys on board. This fjord here, it's so long. It takes forever to, to get in there. And we aren't even going to the very end. We aren't, maybe, well, I think it's um, more than halfway, but it's still a long bit to the very end of the fjord. At least today we have the sun with us. It's not particularly cold. It's a little nippy still, but it isn't too cold. And the sun warms it up just a bit. And I think we have at least three, four hours to go <laughs> before we get there. is Balestrand and we have the hotel just ahead there we're gonna go around the hotel to the guest harbor it's quite small but I would say quite picturesque all of those small houses I wonder how it is to actually live in a place like this what do you do for a living, really? Yes, there's a lot of uh, fishing, farming, probably a lot of people that needs to commute to a bigger town. And Marius is taking pictures. You see that building there, the red one with a white roof? That's quite cool. Looks like a state church or something. And even that one, straight in there. That is a nice building. So, here we are in a little place called Ballerstrand. Which is a, a tiny, tiny little place here in Sognebjörn. And it was quite popular in the, in the late 1800s and the beginning of the 1900s. People used to flock here from all over Europe to kind of see the mountains and everything that they themselves didn't have. And you kind of <laughs> see why when you see these beautiful sceneries here. Uh, now since last, Marius has uh, left because he had to go home. So he actually took the bus here from Balestrand. The bus and then the ferry and then the express bus down to Oslo. Now in his place, it happens that Elizabeth has come up for the weekend. You see, I spent <laughs> quite a number of days sailing here, but going here by car isn't more than seven hours. This boat ain't fast. It's beautiful, but it ain't fast. And that, my friends, is pretty much what we have time for on this episode. So, subscribe for more videos and do not forget about the button that looks a little like this. To become a crew member and a supporter of Sailing and Blah, head on over to patreon.com slash Sailing and Blah. Until next time, you my friends take care and I will see you there. <laughs>